this woman right. Let's go. No minds. This is the woman you are looking for. Take a proper look. You see this is a poor blind woman for crying out loud. Look at her now. I said no. She is the woman we are looking for. What's it? This woman is blind. Come on, let's go. I said no. You must go. Now have to kill her. Here. Now. What's it? Just listen to yourself. Kill an innocent poor blind woman for nothing. Yes. Was it? She must kill this woman. Then you have to kill me first. Hey, Manis! Don't dare me. And if I do, don't push me. I've been here by now. I don't know what's keeping them. My life, my dear, will come. Is that what you're agitated about? Mm, I'm confused about the whole thing. I suggested going with them. You said no. So why are you? Why are you? Why are you worried? It's okay. Maybe I'm just worried about. Just relax your mind, please. Yes, this is Miss Barry. Yes. Oh my God! Where? When? Please, what hospital is that? Okay, okay, okay. I'll be right there. What's the matter? There's been an attack. Where? I don't know. The, the doctor just called me now that they've been rushed to the hospital. Oh my God. Meet me outside, please. Oh yes, madam. I just wanted to know if you've confirmed the bodies yet. Yes, I've confirmed the bodies. I'll be back to see you later. Alright, cool. That's fine. I, I'll see you soon then. Boys, 
scared that they're going to kill us. God just saved our lives once again. So what are we going to do? I don't know. But I'm sure you understood all that I told you. Yes. Our survival depends on a large extent on how well we're able to convince those people that I am who they think that I am. Hmm? Okay. So, I should keep on telling you that I'll be happy for past two years now. Of course. And please stick to that. Hmm? Okay. I'm so scared. Don't worry. God is with us. Hello. Nabi, you have your voice going from the bedroom. What's happening? Nothing. Auntie, you're crying. Auntie, what's happening? No. <laughs> I'm fine.
pesadelo. I want to let the blind woman go. Let her go? Oh boss, you can't. You can't. Why? I mean, we need to eliminate that woman. She is a suspect. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You're just assuming, right? I am not assuming, boss. I'm sure of what I'm saying. What proof do you have? What? Look, I'm not a proof now. But I, I, I... Then let her go! Let the woman go! Because right now I cannot have the blood of a blind woman over my head. I can't! Oh, see, boss. See, but even if she was uh, innocent, she's guilty now. I mean, she has heard everything we discussed in, uh, in her presence. And it's too dangerous. Oh, you too should have thought about that before you brought her into my place. You incompetent fools! Now get out! Get out! Get out! I appeal to you to please and please don't let that woman go. I mean, I have these feelings that that woman will oppose a problem between us. And I suggest we kill her. Moselle. Boss. You are my oldest man in this organization. And as such, you should know me well by now. Let me ask you a question. Have I ever beside my decisions before? But boss, this is different. There is nothing different to a principal man. That woman goes home. And that is my final decision. Guys, the boss is still adamant. I mean, he's still stuck there with his gun. But I told you the boss won't budge. He won't agree. Mosey, I told you, didn't I? Yeah, you did, but what I don't understand is the reason why the boss went on allowing them go. Well, uh, he certainly has his reasons. I think so. Yeah, that's true. Oh, if you ask me, that's a stupid reason. Listen, I think the boss is going cold. Mind your language, Mosey. The walls have ears. Manis, oh manis. Listen to me. The boss eventually allowed them go. I mean, allowed them go. They will bring him down. And when that happens, I'm sure you know what happens to all of us. We are all in trouble. Big trouble. Now listen guys. See, we need to do something. We need to do something. I mean, do it fast. As fast as we can. But I think Moses is right, okay? I think he's right. I think so, we need to ask fast. So what do we do? What do you have in mind? See guys. I've read stories. I've seen things happen. I've watched movies. Yes. See. This is guys, this is not funny matter. You've watched I'm this is serious. I'm, I'm not joking here. Listen. 
we need to eliminate them. I mean, to secure our source of livelihood. If you don't, you know what that, what that means? Of course, that's the only option we have now. So you're saying we we'll eliminate them? That's the last game we have to play. Alright then. Pull the heat. We we'll eliminate them, okay? Just to make your stupid head happy. Deal. Yes. So tell me, were you able to find out anything from her? Oh boss, um, I think the woman is trying to be smart with her words. She's being very careful. But the girl though, she looks innocent to me. The girl, she looks innocent. Innocent? So what do you suggest? I think we should intensify our torture on this woman. Let's double the punishments if we are to get any information from this woman. That is, if there is any other thing she's hiding. You're right, you know. You're so right. Who's that? What do you want? Will you come? Come, come and join me. I think I'll take my leave now, boss. Okay, all right then. Um, I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah, I'll be serving in 10 minutes. All right, cool. So tell me. What did you find out? Boss, for all my investigation, nobody seems to know any blind woman staying around there. I thought as much. So tell me, have you been able to satisfy your curiosity? Yes. But we need to play severe, boss. Listen, I was paid to assassinate the woman from the United States. The woman you're holding hostage is an innocent woman that has nothing to do with her. I don't want any more blood in my hand like I already have already. Okay? Boss, you are a cold-blooded killer. One more life means nothing to you. Let's eliminate this woman and play safe here, boss. Listen, I might be a cold-blooded killer. I'm also a professional. I don't kill for fun. I kill for money. So tell me, are you willing to pay me to assassinate her? Boss, this woman will eventually bring about your downfall. Think about your reputations. Think about your investment and achievements all over the town. Will you allow ordinary poor blind woman to bring about your downfall, boss? No. No. I'm a man of my words. No. No. I am a man of my words. I told her she would not die. But I will ensure she's everything she says she is. That's for sure. Come on, join me. Are you there? 
Isabella. Who is in here? Isabella, is that you? Take a blind one to overtake for change of clothes. I don't like the fact that she's wearing the same clothes she just came here. Boss? Yes. But, boss, I thought you said they would be going home today. I changed my mind. Should be here until I'm done with my investigations. Do you have a problem with that? No, oh, boss. It's just not that old. Anita! Yes, boss. Come here. Go on, get a blind lady. Enjoyed my food. <laughs> it's palatable, cook. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I enjoyed it too. Oh, I'm so happy you did, small madam. Okay, I shall take my leave now. It's all right. Sorry, madam. For how long have you been in this condition? Well. It's been long, ever since my husband died many years ago. Why do you ask? Um, nothing. Um, it's just that I, I just want to know, because I have a doctor who might be willing to treat you. Treat me? I don't understand. Anyway, never mind. Um, just that I feel for you. It's okay then. Um, good night. Okay. Good, good night. Good night. Here is your drink. 
Yeah. Thank you. Auntie, what are you thinking? Don't worry. The silence. What silence? The gang's silence. I don't know what they are up to. Well, apart from this silence, they'll be treating us fine. Good food, good drink, good accommodation, good sleep on a good bed like this. I've not had it this good in all my life. I wish we shall continue to stay here forever. Stay away from my wicked or this wife. These are the worst people to mingle with. It is very dangerous because you don't know what can happen. Anything can happen anytime. Yes. It's like sitting on a keg of gunpowder that can explode anytime without warning. We have to be careful. Don't know about you. Apart from the torture on you, they have been treating us fine. This place is far, far better than we are run away from. Tell me, how bad and wicked is your uncle and wife? They are the worst species of woman being I ever seen. Really? I don't want to think about them. It unites me to remember. But the cook's question, I don't like it. How? Never mind. Mr. Phillips, I don't understand what you mean by that. You don't understand that my wife came to Nigeria and you insisted on taking her to your house, even against her wishes, only for you to call me and say she was assassinated. By who, if I may ask? What did she do? Listen, you have an explanation for me once I come to Nigeria. Else, Else what? Else what, Mr. Phillips? Are you in any way threatening me? I wish it was a threat. But it's not a threat, it's a promise. You shall have me to contend with. Goodbye. Hey, don't hang up! Hey, Mr. Phillips, wait! Don't hang up! Hello, Mr. Phillips, or whatever it is you call it. Hello? Oh, shit, this guy hung up, Sha. Can you imagine? What nonsense. Tell me what is it? Can you imagine Mr. Phillips threatening me? Uh, that's the special. What? Do you expect a man whose wife was killed under a mysterious circumstance to be happy with you? And what does that mean? Sandra, I remember when you were calling his wife, telling her to come and stay with you. You offered to send a car that would pick her from the airport. She refused, but you insisted. You know what? Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say I assassinated my own sister, so say it. Sandra, we have two corpses in our hands. We're the driver making them three. Pull yourself together so that we can give these people a befitting barrier. And it's not where shouting at me. Sandra, thanks are wagging. Thanks are wagging. Excuse me. Are you working out on me? Honey? Lisa? How are you? And where is your mommy? She's not back. What? She's not back. She's not back. Okay. So, what are you doing? I'm playing Play game. Oh, go to bed, go to bed. Come here, baby. And what do you say? Good night, darling. Alright, good night, darling. Okay. And where do you think you are coming from? Excuse me? Where do you think you are coming from by this time of the night? I went to see a friend. You went to see a friend. Mm -hmm. Sandra, listen to yourself. You went to see a friend. Yeah. People have been coming here on condolence visit to your sister's bed every day. You are nowhere to be seen. What's your problem? Can't you stay at home and mourn your dead? So, I shouldn't go about my regular business because I have to sit at home and mourn the dead? Please excuse me, I have better things to do. I am surprised at you. 
whatever. <laughs> but that's good news, you know. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> really? Okay, that's uh, that's fine, you know, because. <laughs> oh come on, it's not that bad, is it? Oh okay. I'm honored, really. <laughs> delivered your message to the commissioner. Good. Very good. Mugzio. Boss. I will let the blind woman go tomorrow. But you will drop her off. And guess what? I have detailed my men to monitor you. If anything goes wrong with her, we have me to contend with. Listen, my dear, you have to find out the name of this area from the cook or the guards. We have to know where we are to start with. Until they might start suspecting us. Okay, that's the more reason why you should be careful. You just make it look as if it's a casual discussion so that she doesn't suspect anything. And as you do that, look for a picture of someone that looks like me. Someone that looks like you. Yes. Why? Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll explain later. Hmm? But as you move around, be very careful. You know if you're caught, we are dead. Auntie, please. Let's stay here. There's no need trying to run away. In your condition, you need a place like this. Um, for me, I'm not going back to that my uncle's house. Don't worry, everything will be fine. You won't understand. I don't think so. I don't think so. I like him. These people are criminals, don't you see? Yes, follow me, follow me. Come here, come here. Come in, come in. Please. This is your room with your daughter. The manager will be there for a long time. Mm -hmm. They don't mind that is the boss quarters. Eh? Don't worry, I'll shampoo with the air conditioner and then the television. Make sure that yeah, it's comfortable for you. Eh? You see, it's my responsibility to take care of you and your daughter. Um, one more thing, I shall help to finish that house, my brother, uh, that was my common finish. I'll complete it to test, paint it, and then put all the necessary facilities and move in. And uh, also set up a business for you, so that you'll be busy. Mm -hmm. Because I know my late brother would have done the same, assuming the, the vast was the case. <laughs> Thank you, my husband's brother. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I can't stand, stand Thank back. You. I can't stand this living now. Thank oh. you. I'm not being a big one. I'm not being I can't stand this living now. For what? I'm not This is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you. <laughs> the God of the windows. <laughs> I glorify your name. <laughs> Father Lord, I thank you. <laughs> you are whatever is meant the same. You are worthy to be praised. <laughs> I will always worship you. <laughs> Father Lord, I thank you.
Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> the wardrobe is there. Put all these things there. Eh? Please. Eh? Make sure you will feel comfortable here. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all, eh? It's okay. <laughs> belongs to your late husband. Why my husband here is the rightful owner of that plantain? Liar. Liar. That plantain belongs to my late husband. How is he now your husband plantain? Look, 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 look. Eliza, Eliza. I'm brought that to patience. If I close my eyes and open them and the plantain is not here, in fact, I'll be nasty. Very, very nasty. Yes. Nine. That plantain belongs to my late husband. And besides, I have sold that plantain. You have the infantry, the God to tell me you have sold my own plantain? It's my plantain. If I enter inside and come out, and you are still standing with your two legs, <laughs> you know what I'm doing. 
I've sold the plantain. That plantain is my late husband's plantain. I'm sorry. Exactly. You better go and return the plantain or you bring the money back. This man will never stop disturbing me. Eh? The plantain is, is our own now. See me trouble. The plantain is my late husband's plantain. Sure it's, our it's our plantain. Ah. It's our plantain. It, it, don't, don't mind your... Uh, Elisa. Elisa. Why do, don't you want to enter my, my room? Eh? Listen. I have always told you since they went to my bedroom, you refused to come. Now, I own you. Own whatever you have. Own your daughter. Own everybody. Own everything you have. I am chief. Whatever I say must hold. If Mohammed refuses to come to the mountain, the matter will come to Mohammed. Now that thing you have got this script upon me, I will do it now. <laughs> I will do it now. Ah, I have told you so many times that I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. But that one is your own. I've told you I don't want to do it. It's your own headache. I am a fool, man. The command belongs to me. Even if you shout till till death will fall, that is your own. <laughs> Elisa Elisa Everybody in this village that 
I'm the witch that killed my mother and my father. This is what I mean by acting. You only wait first before you start thinking about money. Oh, you know like the situation you are living in. I'm like, eat money, my sister. Where do you want me to go to? I need to go anywhere with money now. Nah. I need money. Eh? I need money. Where do you want me to go to? Sam, I've done my best. And I'm leaving the rest. Hey, come, come. What, what's happening here? What is going on there? Eh? Hey, Isabella, don't tell me you've not finished shipping this place. This money. Hey, can you imagine? Good day, man. Uh, how may I help you? Hey, I just need to ask this side. She's ready to go fetch water. Eh, uh, water. Yes, now she'll go and fetch water. Ne. Finish sweeping this place. Eh? Go inside. Take your cake. Follow her and go and fetch water, okay? okay. Mm? okay. I'm going to the market now. And by the time I come back, you fill all the kegs, fetch firewood, and tidy the whole of this compound. You hear me? Okay, ma. Okay, that's why you be saying, okay, lazy, lazy fool. Okay, ma. Lazy fool. Come, 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 Isabella. So, it is my husband you want to snatch now, eh? Abby? You did not do anything. You did not do what? I you did not do what? I don't know. 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 I don't Today, today, today. Everything will end today. Hmm? You see all these rags? I will tell you that it is wrong to seduce somebody else's husband. Hmm? Don't worry. Seducing my husband, Abby? Okay. It will not burn. Which? Oh, please, I did. I did. I did. I did. I Are you still there? I did. 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 I This girl. <laughs> She's faking. Is she not a witch? Go. Brother? What is happening? Isabella. Which Brother? organ? Organ? Isabella is dying. Nothing is happening to her. Isabella. One week. Mm -hmm. Don't Isabella. worry. Isabella. I can't go back to that hell. I'd rather die here. I'd rather die here than to go back to that family again. I can't. I can't go back. Mm. So how much is involved in this? Well, um, the boss said two million naira, but I doubt it. You know why? This man you see in here is a top politician, and he should not be eliminated. Anything less than five million naira. Um. So, what are you saying in essence? I confront the boss. Why should we? Why should we confront the boss? Why? Confront the boss. How? Listen, guys. We don't need to confront the boss. We don't need it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. We can still make our own money if we want. How do we do that? How was it? Listen. We can take money from those victims. And? And still do our work. Are you saying we should double cross the boss? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? That we should go ahead and double cross the boss? Listen, our listen, boss! Listen, guy. If you ask me, I think Sir Temple has been taking good care of you. <gasps> What's your problem? Or are you planning on a double cross? Guys, that is not a double cross. That is not a double cross. 
Okay? It's not. After all, the victim still dies. What is that? The double cross. It's not a double cross. It's not. Okay? Count me out of this. I am not a party to this. Yeah, this is totally useless. Who cares? Doesn't make sense. You know what? Makes sense. You can be a maid all your life. Oh, you watch your mouth and you don't! <laughs> don't try shit with me! He's a guy. He's a tiger. He's a lion. Come on. It hasn't gotten to this. Sit down. Sit down! Sit, sit down. Listen guys, okay? We don't have to start quarreling like some little babies or something, like some market women. All we should be thinking of is how to get this guy. Not sitting here and quarrel over nothing. Come on guys, give me a break. What do we do? So when are we looking at? When do we take him? Listen, I'm looking at next tomorrow. Next tomorrow. You know why? We will use tomorrow to take out our escape. Do you understand? And put other things in place. Then by next tomorrow, we hit it. You know, because we have a whole lot of securities to take care of. So you yes. say we hit next tomorrow? We hit next tomorrow. For real? For real, man. Yeah. Are you sure your intel is correct? Nothing. Are you sure? I told you. I trust you. Next tomorrow is okay, Diana. I have no choice here. Nice to know it is. Isabella, Auntie, where did you go to? To help the cook. What? I was feeling bored, so I decided to go help her with the dishes. I was looking for you. Come closer. We cannot stay here forever. You know that, right? Yes. We have to live here one way or the other. And the earlier you get this into your skull, the better for you. I want us to find a way to gather enough evidence that will nail these people. Look, we have to get enough proof to show that we were kidnapped and about to be killed if we escape. So, you mean we should escape? Of course. We have to escape. But before we do that, we have to gather enough evidence to nail these people once and for all. The security here is too tight. But we have to look for a way out. And I don't have anywhere to go. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. Attention. You mean you will take care of me? Now you know. Good then. Then get up and follow me. My boss wants to see you. Now. I mean this minute. Please, please, Jonah, don't touch her. Please. I think you did the name of God, please. Who asked you to speak? Will you shut up? You know what? After her, you are next. What did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? What have I done to deserve all this? Where did I go wrong? Where? God, why? 
<laughs> Why me? Why? It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I am a woman in distress for a crime that I did not commit. Where did I go wrong? Do I deserve this, Isabella? Do I? No. It's okay. Sorry. What time is it? It's almost 12 o'clock. Take me outside now. What? Take me to the back of the house now. God of vengeance, look at me, look at my tears, look at my wounds, I stand naked before you today, I have not done anything to earn such suffering and punishment from my sister Sandra, if I have done anything wrong, to earn such ill treatment from her. Deal with me worse things than this. But if I have not done anything to her, and she feels she can treat me this way, oh God, pay her back in her own court. God of vengeance. God of the forsaken. God of the orphan, fight for me with your striking thunder and lightning. Visit her and pay her back in her own coin. Fight for me. I stand before the moon, the stars. And all the elements of the universe bear witness to my nakedness today, to my wounds, to my tears. And fight for me. Fight for me. <laughs> For me, God of vengeance. <laughs> There's something I want to tell you. Can I trust you? Yes, Auntie. I have heard your cries and your suffering. I will help you. As soon as we leave this place, I will take you as my own sister and I will take care of you. Auntie. Yes. I am not who you think that I am. That's all I am going to tell you for now. But I want you to make up your mind for us to live here in one piece. I don't want anything to happen to you. And you have to be very careful. You've seen the way they've been torturing me day and night. And it's not as if you are safe either. Because as soon as they get tired of me, they would face you too. And I know that is not what you want for yourself. So please, do what I tell you to do and we are safe. Okay? Yeah. Ah, Small madam, how are you today? Fine, no. You can see. Okay. 
Ah, sit down. Oh, thank you. Can I assist you? <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm almost done. <laughs> thank you. Okay. No. Mm, I think we'll go. Please, what is the name of this area, this place? Why do you ask? Mm, nothing. Just being curious. Well, I'd rather you keep your curiosity to yourself. Hmm? The walls have ears. No, I'm, I just want to know. Uh, how can someone be staying in a place that he doesn't even know the name? Okay, what if someone asks me now, what is the name of the place I'm staying? What would I tell the person? Now, listen, Isabella. If you're thinking of escaping from this place, Forget it. It's a pipe dream unless you want to die. The whole of this place has security network. And my boss is aware of everything that goes on here. He sees everything from his security room. So if you're thinking of leaving, I'm sorry, you better forget it. Okay? I don't mean anything. I just want to know. That's all. I hope so too. And it's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. Nobody is interested in telling me anything. The cook, the gas, even the gate man. And let's just give up this idea of living here. It can't work. It won't work. It's not possible. There must be a way. We can't stay here forever. There must surely be a way out. Uh -huh. Good day, my sister. Ah, how are you? I'm fine, madam. And I hope you're having a nice day. Ah, ah. my dear, it's the same old boring experience for an for a old woman like me, you know. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm used to it. Anyway, I'm actually relieved to hear that. Um, I was actually making a um, melon soup and a bar. I hope you enjoy it. Ooh, wow. That's actually my favorite. All right. Okay, I shall take my leave now. Let me go finish up the cooking. It's like the boss is not in town. I've not heard from him for a couple of days now. Is he okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm being curious. But you know, he's the only one that comes around to keep me company, chats me up, tell me some stories here and there, you know. <laughs> it's just like I'm missing him. Eh? Eh. Anyway, um, never to worry. He's actually not in town at the moment. And we are not allowed to divert such information. Ah, sorry, eh? Sorry for the bother. You shouldn't have asked her. You shouldn't have asked her. I know. I know it's a risk. But at least it paid off. How do you mean? Don't worry. You will see. Don't just worry. <laughs> you shall see. Isabella. Why have you been avoiding me, Isabella? Please, let me go. Answer me first. What do you want from me? I want you, Isabella. And you know it. What? You heard me right. See, let me tell you. I will never have anything to do with you. Not in this world. Stop acting like a fool, Isabella. You know I can help you. I don't need your help. You don't need my help. That means you don't want to live. You want to die. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? <laughs> well, I, I wish it was. Now the ball is in your court. If you really want to live, have a nice day.
don't know where I would have gone see if I hadn't seen you that day. You're a God sent to me. God sent? Yes. You know, I hated my faith. My uncle and his wife. I mean, I hated everything in this world. What was in my mind was to commit suicide. Suicide? A small girl like you? What have you seen in this world that will make you think of suicide? How can that kind of thought come into your head? I know that I've not seen much, but the little I've seen is more than enough for me to commit suicide. Please, Isabel, don't you ever let that kind of thought come into your mind again. Oh my God! What is it? One of the assassins. Mm -hmm. What about him? He's been asking me out. And what was your response to him? I told him I'll try me. Never had anything to do with such an evil character. Mm. That's good, but on a second thought, we can actually use him. What? Yes. We can use him. We can use him to get us out of this place. How to go about it? No. Why not? You've been with him for some time now. I've not given him my body. My heart is too far, far, far away from him. I hate him. I hate him as I hate my uncle. I hate all men. Excuse me. Mommy, I'm really shocked at your phone conversation with the policeman. How could you tell the policeman to stop your two sisters' investigation? And you feel I'm stupid enough not to have a good reason for doing that? And what good reason could make you tell them to stop their investigation? Listen, don't mind those people, eh? They've been saying that thing from day one, don't mind it. Why don't you just allow them to do their work? My family, don't keep quiet! Are you silly? Come on, man, come back here, talk to you like that. Are you stupid? How dare you walk out of me? What? I will do it. I seem not to have a choice here. Do I? Of course you have a choice. You should keep your woman dignity intact. For how long will I keep it ahead of in this place? I don't think to have a choice, but whichever way. You promise to help me and I trust you. You promise to send me to school and make my life better. And that is why I have to do this. To make sure I believe you are in good. So how are you sure he would fulfill his own part of the bargain? I will make him do it.
อกซันดราวายซันดราวายว่าทุกคนต้องการฉันทำอะไรกับฉันที่ฉันต้องการให้ฉันได้รับทุกอย่างนี้ทุกอย่างที่ฉันต้องการให้ฉันได้รับทุกอย่างนี้ทุกอย่างที่ฉันต้องการให้ฉันได้รับทุกอย่างนี้ทุกอย่างที่ฉันต้องการให้ฉันได้รับทุกอย่างนี้I'm sure we all know why we are here to celebrate her birthday. I want to use this opportunity to thank God for her life, for adding her additional year to her life. Hmm? And also to tell her how much I love her. Sweetheart, I want to use this opportunity to tell you you are treasured. And to use my sweetheart. You've been a blessing to our family. I don't know what I would have done without you in our lives. I love you to the moon and back. Happy birthday. Thank you, sis. I would have loved to sing your birthday song, but I have a terrible voice. So I'm going to step aside for my lovely sister. She has a better voice, so over to you, sis. Before I sing your birthday song for my little sister here, I also want to tell her that um, since the day you came into our life, it's been nothing but bliss. And I love you, love you, love you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shirley. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you, Shirley? How old are you now? I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. I'm 22 years today. So it's time to cut the birthday cake. Chop chop. <laughs> yeah. So, at the count of three, we're going to cut the birthday cake. So let's come together. One, two, three. I don't know. She said she was going out to sell for money for her school fees. Oh, okay. For my boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend? Which one? The one that disappointed her. She said she was going to look for other means to get it. What other means? I don't know. And you allowed her go? Uh -uh. Sister, what do you want me to do? What kind of embarrassment is that? When is she back? I don't know. She said she won't be long though. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Then, before the end of the month, I give her that amount. At least, let her just go to school. Wow. Mm. I'm so happy. Thank you, sister. Thank you. <laughs> I beg, I'm hungry. What did you cook? I made rice. Okay. But there was not enough money, so I had to buy eggs and put it inside. So you could not even buy fish. <laughs> give me money. Rosie. Oh. Fine. 
Are you the coming school this evening? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, I can. And sister, mm -hmm. thank you for the money you gave me. Come on, what are sisters for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, the only thing I want from you is for you to face your studies. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm serious. I will. You know this is your final exams? Hmm? Are you promising me that? I promise. I'm not joking here. <laughs> Alright then. Are you done packing? Just for me. I'm just about and I'm ready to go. Okay, I have been feeling feverish for quite some time now. Oh my, have you taken any form of medications? I... Why? Should you see a doctor? Or better still, take some drugs? Sister, I have something to tell you. Okay. I... I think I'm pregnant. What? I'm sorry. Does he know? John, of course, your boyfriend. John is not the one responsible. Was there someone else? I ran into my friend, an old friend, a couple of days. Jesus Christ, Shelley! How could you act like a common prostitute? Sister, the fact is that John and I have been having issues, and I met someone else. Even at that, that's degrading. Jesus wept. Oh my god, Shelly! I don't want to use the word disappointed, mm -hmm. but I'm extremely disappointed in Shelly. How could she get pregnant for some for, for a guy we don't even know? If you have a boyfriend, I will understand. You know what? I think we should get rid of that pregnancy. Yes, you're right. You're very correct. She has to remove it. Mm -hmm. There's no two ways about it. True. But sister, mm -hmm. remember we're Christians. Oh, so. please spare me. Leave Christianity out of this. Eh, but how do we go about it? Eh, I'll, I'll talk to a doctor. You should tell us what to do. Ah, hope he's not a quack doctor. Trust me now. I bet she's my sister. Mm. Okay, fine. So now what's the first step? What do we do? See a doctor first. We'll ask him what to do. Probably maybe she would not eat or something, all those things, me I don't know. But we shall see a doctor first. Sister, you know Shelly, you know how Shelly is. Don't worry. You know how she is. We will force her she in any know. which way, we will get her to that hospital. When she I was said in, she didn't know. know. For some we don't even know, that's the annoying part. Can you imagine? I'm so pissed. Can you imagine that she says she wants to keep it? How? Imagine. Where? In whose house? Hmm. My house? It's not possible. Okay. After everything I've done for her. No, no, she's very, very, oh, no, 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 she annoyed me. What is it again, Shelly? There is nowhere to be seen. And who is Jerry? Jerry is the one that put me pregnant. You see your life? You see what you have done to yourself? How could you be so reckless? You don't even know this guy from Adam! Sister, we are close friends. See where the closeness has landed you now? Okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Hey, look at me. Stop crying. There's always a solution to every problem. You know that, right? Hmm? Stop crying. 
So, um, where did you say the guy traveled to? South Africa. For business trip or for business trip or what? No, it's the sister. I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything about his business. It's like he's into bad business, bad trade. Then let's forget about him and plan your life. Did you tell that guy anything about your pregnancy as is his friend? He's not close to the guy. Oh, okay, good. So, um, the first thing we have to do is get rid of your pregnancy. And, um... Sister. I can't. Why? Because I can't. What else there to do? You get rid of your pregnancy, try to reconcile with John, and then you start a wedding preparation. Sister, I don't want to have anything to do with John again, and I can't terminate this pregnancy. Why? Because I can't kill an innocent child. Under this circumstance, my dear, you don't have an option. You're a banker, and you know their policy. Sister, mm -hmm. I just finished talking to the do um, doctor, and he said I should ask her to see him tomorrow okay. without breakfast. Good. Who? You didn't tell her? I just did. So, you two have concluded to terminate the baby in my room without knowing my position first. <laughs> what position are you talking about? You better get rid of that thing in your tummy. Ha! And, and get on with your life. And I won't. I don't want to. Excuse me. Come back here. See this game? Can you imagine? So I'm going to try to help so Sister, you try to get away with me. What is your problem? Sister, please leave me alone. I will do no such thing. Until you tell me how you're going to raise a child out of wedlock. This has never happened in the Benson's family before and it's not going to start with you. I won't terminate this pregnancy because of you and the family ego. What's your problem? You are my problem. You are always selfish. Can't you think of anybody else for a change? It's you I should be asking that question. What actually is your take on this issue? My take on this issue is with your little sister. Okay? Because you are not going to bring disgrace into this family. Because if you do it, I will personally give you help. Sister, please leave me alone. Please. You better stop shedding that crocodile tears of yours. You shameless pig. What? You guys stop it. I will not stop it until I'm done with her. Uh, Shelly, you're not dressed. Am I not talking to you? My friend, look there for my girl dressed. We have an appointment with the doctor. Sister, please leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Shelly! Sister, if I go to the hospital with you for this abortion, you guys will carry my cops on your head. Meaning what? Meaning I won't survive it. Sister, what's going on? Why is she still lying now? Just let her be. Sister, I don't understand what you're saying. Do you want me to tie her up? I can't I can drive her to the hospital. What do you want? Rose, just leave her alone, please. <gasps> you heard her. She said, let me be. You guys should let me be, especially you. I don't understand what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. What's going on? Just let her be. Leave her alone. Ah. I don't understand what you're trying to say. The both of you should leave me alone. That is what she's trying to say. You should leave me alone. Sister. Just let her be, please. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I miss you too. What's that? <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. Uh, yes, I agree. I I know. So are we eating out? Are you serious? Hey, so what am I coming? Seven? Okay, cool. Oh, you know, let me call you back. Uh, hey. Okay. He left the baby? No, she's with the nanny. Oh, okay. So, um, who was that guy that dropped you off? Why don't you want him to come in or you don't want me to meet him? Mm, what man? Your new boyfriend, of course. I've seen him drop you at the gate at three different occasions. 
Oh, he's a nobody, he's just a friend. A friend? Come on, Shelly. I don't seem to know about me or the baby. Why? Though he has been pestering me. But I'm done with men. You can't be done with men. All men are not the same. To me, all men are the same. They are one hell of a mistake I will never make again in my life. Come on, Shelly. You're so wrong. Sister, please. What shall I do? Shall I give him a chance, according to my sister? I don't want another outbreak. No. Not anymore. hard to comprehend and I know how you feel you don't have the slightest idea <laughs> how I feel you will be shocked to hear about my heartbreaks I didn't tell you guys anything about it because I didn't want to bother you guys and plus I felt I could handle it on my own and I did my dear men are beasts but you can make an angel out of a slightly good one Look at me. Look at me. Has this guy shown you any sign of honesty? Yes. <laughs> then what are you waiting for? Give him a chance. Exactly my point. I don't want to. Why not? He's too fast to take me as a wife. And he's ready to perform the marriage rites and take me to USA. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Sister, this guy is going too fast for my life, you know. Can you imagine? He's already planning a wedding and about to take her to the USA. But that has always been our dream. So why the hesitation? I don't want him to know about the baby. Come on, baby. Girl. I just can't. Smile, Joe. <laughs> Anyways, we have a solution to your problem. Yes. What's the solution? <laughs> Sister Sandra here has offered to take care of your child since I'm already engaged. You mean? Yes. I'll take your daughter as mine. I'll give her all the love and care she would ever need. Oh my God. I don't know what to say, honestly. <laughs> well, you can start by saying thank you, and then you can go ahead and make the necessary arrangements and travel to the USA. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sister, thank you. <laughs> thank I'm you. so happy. I love you, babe. I love you. Uh, Me too. Uh, Thanks. I'm so very grateful. The both of you. Yeah, you've it's been okay. It's okay. You've been there for me. Yeah, I know. And we're still gonna be there for you. Oh my god, look at this. So nice. Sister, hi. Hey! hey. Okay. My husband is taking me for shopping and we're traveling to the US tomorrow. Really? Oh, that's sweet. Are you serious? Hmm. My sister has become a big, big girl. Hmm. By the time she gets to the US, she just learned US citizen overnight. I'm telling you. Okay. As in there. <laughs> Shall not forget us. Oh, why will I forget you guys? You're my sisters now. <laughs> and sister, I deposited some amount into your bank account. Oh, that's no, I sweet. owe you guys a lot. <laughs> so it's only sister's account you're going to deposit money into Abby? I beg you, jealousy mood. I beg you, hey, you, Jerry. You don't owe us anything. I'm sure you would have done the same thing if you were in our shoes. <laughs> that reminds me. Your husband is a very good man. Hmm? Please, take good care of him. Okay, I will. Right. Thank you. Jess. And I came to check on the baby. She's okay. I hope she won't inconvenience you guys. <laughs> inconvenience, kid. Abby. Hmm. I've discussed it with him. Hmm? And I told him that, listen, it's either he accepts your baby as my baby or he forgets about the whole thing. Your baby or our baby? Oh, please. Baby. It's our baby. Oh, you guys should not forget about my baby. It's mm. our baby. Hmm. Please, don't worry, eh, my dear. Your ba Sorry, my baby is in safe hands. Hmm? I trust you now. You All right, come on. <laughs> Darling, I will really miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you guys too. Oh, sweetheart. I'm missing you already. Okay. Now. Let me. Oh. She's my sister too. Now, what's wrong? <laughs>
I'll miss you guys. Like, ah, oh, group hug. Make sure you call every day. Every day. I will now. Every second. And I'll be calling you so every day. I want your friends about all these nice, nice, nice things. I know. Good. He's back. Oh, he's back. The boss. He's back? Yes. I saw me into the quarters. Wow. You're sure he didn't see you? No. I first saw him and left before he told to me. Take advantage of you, please. I'm sorry. And I want it now, baby. Please come down. Oh God, I can't. I can't do this. Try and understand. I can't. I need it oh. now, baby. Stop. I need it now. No, no. Just understand. I can't do this. It looks. I mean, it means taking advantage of you, and I don't want to do and it. I need it now. I say no. It's okay. Isabella. Isabella. Auntie. Tell me, how did it go? <laughs> You've been silent ever since you came in. Are you crying? It's okay. I'm sorry. It's all right, eh? All this nightmare will soon be over. It's all my fault. I should have stopped you. It's okay. It's not your fault. You never wanted me to go. <laughs> I was already promised to help us. Really? You were ready to help us escape. Really? Yes. But do you think he can be trusted? It's all right. <laughs> wow. <I'm> so happy. <laughs> Into this time, we are going to be together. Yes. I'm doing the right thing. Come on, baby. Why are you talking like that? I'm going to miss you badly. I'm going to miss you too. But you promised that you will join me soon. That you have planned everything now that we're going to be together. That was what you told me now. Sweetie, it's not that easy. Oh God. I wish I never lived a life of crime and, and homicide. But you promised to quit. Then baby, let's live together. Please. Sweetie, it's not that easy. You see, you see, it's very easy to start a life of crime, but to quit is a different ball game. So they are going to kill me once I declare my crime-free stance. Then, baby, let's live together, please. You see that easy? See, baby. This is what we have to do under these circumstances. We have to go out, live here together, run away together. Baby, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want them to have you. Sweetie, it's okay. I'll think about it. You don't have to think about anything. Baby, please, let's run away together. Or I will not live here without you. I will not live here without you. I can't live here without you. We're going to live here together. It's okay. It's okay. 
I'll, I'll think about it. You went to see him. Don't you think you're overdoing this? Don't you think you're seeing more of him these days? Don't you think so? I know, but I can't help it. You can't help it. Listen to me, Isabella. You would stop seeing that boy. You gave him what he wanted, and he gave us a way of escape. That's it. And the story, this deal is terminated. You will not see that boy again. Did you hear? No, I have to. I can't stop seeing him now. I love him. You love him? You love a common criminal? Isabella, listen to yourself. Is this what you want for yourself? Is this what you want for your life? Is it? How I wish it is possible. Oh yes, it is possible. The only thing you have to do is to remove your mind from him. That's all. You would stop seeing that boy. You have a bright future and you will not allow a common criminal that can die any time of the day to spoil it for you or deny you that. Oh yes, you will stop seeing him. Did you hear me? Auntie, please. I wish you understood. I do not understand anything, Isabella. Just remove your mind from him. Stop it! End of story. This discussion is over. Over, I say. Are we still leaving next tomorrow? Yes. Well, he will go with us. Who? Who else? My guy, man is. Isabella, have you gone nuts or something? What is your problem? What is wrong with you? See, I don't have any problem. I'm in love with him. Isabella, what do you know about love? Tell me. I'm listening. This is infatuation. I know one when I see it. That boy is not going anywhere with us. Without him, I go nowhere. Isabella, how do you want me to tell you that you are playing with fire? With a dynamite? This is a criminal! An assassin! Don't you get it? Auntie, I'm sick and tired of all this in some place. That guy is not what you think he is. He's a kind-hearted man. Really? And you don't see that he is playing on your intelligence? Hmm? Huh? That guy showed me love and care. And I can't, I can't just shut him out like that. Either he go with us or I go nowhere.
this might sound crazy to you, but I'm taking you to a safe place. Okay? Um, please, please, I beg you. I'm, I, I'm sorry if I've done anything wrong. Please. No, 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 no. Listen. The truth is, I, I don't know if I'm going to regret doing this. Okay? I mean, my mother is the greatest motivation for doing what I'm about to do right now. She. She, she died. She died a blind woman. I mean, whenever I see you, you remind me so much of my late blind mother. My boys want you dead. But I don't want that for you. So I'm going to take you to a safe place. And I need you to run as far as possible. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay? So let's go now. Never happen. Not while I've raised her as my own child. After all these years, I paid her fees, fed her. But come to think of it, what will I do? My friend, Sandra, what's the matter? I am in soup. Mm. What soup? My sister, I'm about to lose everything I have worked for all these years. Okay, tell me all about it. My sister made her intention known to me. She's coming back to Nigeria. And her reason for coming is not only to take charge of the company, but also to collect the only possession I have in this life. Her daughter. My own daughter. That serves you right. What? If you had listened to me many years back, you would not be caught up in the mess that you are now, Sandra. Take a good look at yourself, Sandra. Just take a proper good look at yourself. You have, you have labored so much for this, for both the industry and the girl that you raise as your daughter. 
only for the boat to be taken away from you, just like that. She will not succeed. I said she will not succeed. No one will take anything that rightfully belongs to me, including her. Hmm. Then, you need to act fast. My dear, what will I do now? That's why I sent for you. Eliminate your sister. I've thought about it though. But I have my hesitation. She's my kid sister, you know. What's your hesitation, Sandra? Just tell me, what is your hesitation? If you had done this earlier that I advised, you will not be cropped up in the mess that you are now. <laughs> that is why we politicians are different. Yes, remove all your position in order to have your way. That is the rule of the game. You need to silence your sister so that you can have your peace. Okay, um, I'll see the assassin at once. <laughs> now you're talking. Now you're talking. Like this. Hope all is okay. I'm fine. There's no, there's no problem. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm, I'm fine. Um, there's no problem. Are you sure? Mm. Okay. Uh, have you heard from Shelly? Yeah, um, she's coming back home finally. Ha! Thank God. At least she'll come back and start her life. Mm. Where is Louisa? She should be upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Let me see her. Okay. <laughs> Wow, Lisa, you look gorgeous. Where are you up to? Mom, have you forgotten I'm going with you and Auntie Rose to the airport to pick Auntie? And who told you I'm going to the airport to pick your aunt? Auntie Rose told me. Rose told you? Mom, please, let me go with you and Auntie Rose. Ah. Okay, um, I'm not going to the airport to pick your aunt, eh? Rose is. Okay, let me go with her then. No. Mom, please. Listen, Louisa, if you don't have anything better to do, you get to your room. I've made myself clear. Yes, Mom. Rose told her. Okay. Yes? Hello, Sister Sandra. I'll be in the next flight to Nigeria. And I'll be waiting. Why did you I can explain, please, I beg you. I curse the day you were born. To think we came out from the same room? Thank you. 